Welcome to Blooming Wildwood Homestead. Today I want to share with you three books that will help get you started on your gardening journey. We've talked a lot during the last few videos about the importance of growing your skills during the fall and winter time. And there are a number of ways that you can work on growing those skills, but one way that I really recommend is reading a few books. Now, I know for some people there's definitely an aversion to books, and I understand that. However, know that books can actually be a great resource for you. So you may not read them cover to cover, but you may be able to to read parts of the book and then go and apply that to what you're working on and read another part of the book and just use it as more of a reference tool. With that in mind, you're able to find some books through the library or you might even find different magazines and things of that nature, which is a great way to test some things out and see if it's going to be a good fit for you or see if it'll be a reference book that you want to use in the future. But I would recommend when you find a great reference book, Go ahead and pick that book up so that you have it available to you at any time, especially if it's something that you're going to want to go back to and look up information at a later date. So keep that in mind as you're going through and purchasing books. The first book that I want to share with you is called The Bountiful Container. This book was written by Rose Marie. Nichols McGee and Maggie Stuckey and it might not be for everyone but this book was really instrumental for me in my beginning gardening phase. I was renting an apartment and I didn't have any place where I could do gardening in a uh, raised bed or anything of that nature and so I got started growing my own vegetables in containers and this was a great way for me to get started just to see what it was going to take and to really see how much I could actually produce in a small space. And while it didn't provide the needs of the whole year or it didn't provide me enough vegetables to be able to go ahead and um, do any canning or preserving or things like that. It was a great start for me to see what was needed for getting things started and what it would take for me to be able to keep things growing. This book is definitely more of a reference book. It's not something that you're going to read cover to cover, but it has a lot of information on different types of fruits or uh, vegetables, herbs, um, things of that nature, and you can look up the specific item and then it will give you some specific information about it. So you can read about that item and how it will grow and what is needed in order to help it to be successful in the actual container. So if you're living in an apartment, but maybe your dream is to get out on a farm and a homestead, I would really recommend start with some container gardening and this book could really be helpful for you in that manner. The second book that I would recommend is kind of my next level. So after I moved out of the apartment space, I was renting a house and fortunately the landlords were super nice and let me go ahead and put in a garden space in the backyard and I was able to do some square foot gardening. So this book is called All New Square Foot Gardening written by Mel Bartholomew and this is a really easy read. Um, his style is very just very easy to understand and this might be a book that you would read cover to cover but then you would be able to go back and use it as a reference point. With the square foot gardening method I was able to grow a lot of food in a very small space. So if you're still living in the city but you want to start gardening this is a great great place to start and I think a lot of the principles that I learned from this book um, also apply to the homestead out in the country as well. I'm able to pack in a lot more in a smaller space and I'm able to use a lot of the principles that I learned from this book. So I would recommend this and definitely have that on hand if you are wanting to get started with square foot gardening and you just aren't sure where to go with that. 
this would really help you to get started. The third book that I would recommend is something that I think any level would really find handy. So when I lived in town, I was able to start some small, or some apple trees and I ran them along my fence line because I just didn't have the space to be able to grow them in maybe what you would consider the standard way. So I really needed to know how to prune them in order to get them to fit into that space and I really wanted to learn how to maximize my um, maximize my fruit output while maintaining the tree in a way that was manageable and it was really really helpful for me to be able to do that and so this book is called pruning and training the definitive guide to pruning trees shrubs and climbers by christopher brickle and david joyce and this book is something that i've been coming back to so now that i'm out in the country the orchard that was already set up here on the property um they're more of a standard conventional type of, of setup and so pruning looks a little bit different for me. I was used to really compacting things and trying to keep it on the flat plane and here everything is more 3D and I'm trying to figure out how to make good decisions on what needs to be pruned and how to prune it. I've also noticed that the style of pruning was a little bit different than maybe I envisioned in my mind and so I'm coming back to this book and referencing how can I take some things out and change the pruning style in order to get the tree to be shaped the way that I want it to. So as you can tell by the title it does cover a lot of other things besides just your fruit trees however the information on fruit trees is just really phenomenal so it goes through all of the different types of shapes that you might see some people might have like a fan shape rather than the espalier shape um, if you have issues with different problems with disease or insects there's information on that in here as well. And so again, this is not a cover to cover read, but it is definitely a great resource that I've been coming back to over and over, both when I lived in town and now as I'm out here in the country, it's something that kind of fits the bill for everyone and is something that I'm coming back to over and over again. Um, that's why I think books are great to have on hand so that you can just have that resource available to you. Now there are so many more books. Um, there are lots that are good and I think would be great resources for you. But today I just wanted to cover some books that I thought would really help you to get started if you are a beginning gardener and you're looking at just getting started with gardening or maybe you're kind of moving into that intermediate stage but you wanted a little bit of a boost to kind of get you moving forward even more. So I hope that you can find something that will be a great resource for you. And again, I'll link that down below so you can see those titles and authors in case it's something that you want to check out. And if you got value from today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you back here next time. Bye everyone.